I had to play a song called Call Again, and we ended up cabling this on the second fret to kind of match the recording, but we'll walk through a couple things in reposition. And it starts off with this cool main verse chorus progression on an E minor chord. And normally you do this first finger on the A second, second finger on the D second, and if you strum all those together, ah, the sad sounds of E minor. Um, now you may also want to dig on putting the third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, and making that an E minor seven through the song. And from the E minor, we can go to a C major. You normally do this first finger on the B first fret, second finger on the D second fret, and third finger on the A string third fret. And if you strum the A string to the high E string, ah, the beautiful sounds of C major. Now you may also dig on lifting off the first finger, making that a C major 7, or you could add in the pinky on the B third for a C major 9 and kind of say some stuff around the C. Or another way to play C major 9 would be doing first finger on the D second, second finger on the A third, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a C major 9, so you can dig on that more And then from the C we'd be going to a G major chord. I normally do this first finger on the A second, Second finger on the low E third, third finger on the high E third. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord and sounds really happy. Now you may also dig on putting the third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, slightly more powerful G. And then from the G major, we'd be going to a D major chord. And normally do this first finger on the G second, second finger on the high E second, and third finger on the B string third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord and it sounds really happy. Now you may also dig on lifting off the second finger. It's always a dangerous finger to lift, but that makes a D sus two. Or you could add in the pinky on the high E third for a D sus, kind of say some stuff around that. And that main progression, actually, it, you may want to kind of work a couple different strummings, actually. And there, there are some cool licks around those chords we'll talk about, too. But you could start off on the E minor, kind of a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, C. down count and adding in a little bit of muting with the right hand. So I'm taking the flat of my right hand, kind of laying it down on top of the saddle to make that a little sneaky. So you may kind of dig on that, kind of working it through the tune that way. Or you can use a strum pattern. And one of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So we took the E minor and just tried that a lot. You got down, down, down. excited by this song and I get really excited by this song. Um, you could use a 16th note strum pattern and what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down, up. Have a one, two, one, two, and that sounds an eighth note, called an eighth note. What a 16th note is is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is a long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down, up. What I mean by that is we take the E minor and do a down for four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's what you'd be doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you do a down on one, down on three, up on four. So we're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, 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 down. Then on the third beat, you do an up on two, down on three. So we're going one, two, three, four, one, up. Fourth beat, you'd be going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, 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 down. So all together, you got down, 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 You would have to kind of get that really fast to kind of work it into the progression. But if we tried that, you'd have Now through that progression though, you will hear these cool little licks actually, especially on the intro. 
where you start out with the open G and kind of do a hammer on the second fret, and then open B, and then second on the G, open B, and then open B is kind of a hammer on the first fret. So I'm kind of playing the open and putting my finger down to carry the sound of the first fret. And then we play fifth fret on the B string, and then we play it one more time and kind of do a pull off back to three, and then play the three again, and then we do the third fret on the B as a pull off to first fret. So on the pull off part, I'm kind of playing the note and let my finger go straight towards the board to kind of get the sound to carry. So you got five, 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 three, pull off, three, 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 one, pull off, and then you may want to do that as, as kind of a pull off back of the open B. And then we do a hammer on pull off, kind of open B, the first fret to on the B, and then back to open. So I'm kind of doing a hammer on, let my finger kind of just fall off the string as a pull off. So hammer on pull off the first fret, and then second on the G, and then we almost start that over again, kind of open G, second on the G, and then you may want to do second on the G as a as a slide to fourth fret. And a lot of these are, are the same notes actually, and you can do it either way, but kind of two four slide on the G. And then two to four is a hammer on on the G to fifth fret on the G, and then back to that five fifth fret on the B string. Pull off to three, three pull off to one, and then open B, and then we go to second fret on the high U with third fret on the B string, and then we go to third fret on the high U with fifth fret on the B. Got a little double stop two note idea here, and then you go back to the second on the high U with third on the B. And at the very end, there's this little tag lit where you could go third on the high E to second as a pull off, open E, second on the high E, and then third fret on the high E. And a lot of these hammer ons and pull offs, you, you could just pick those notes, or there's lots of other ways that, that you could kind of do it too. But all the way through that intro part, you got O, hammer on to two, open, two, O, O to one, five, 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 three, three, three. cool is to kind of lay in the chord where those heavier hits happen. So you could do the O2 and then an E minor chord for that open B and then the 2 O and then this kind of a round a C chord do that hammer on into the first fret. Five, 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 three, 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 one, 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 O. And then you may want to play the G chord for that open B. O one O and then that second on the G you may want to play a D chord. And then O minor with the kind of that open G and then that 2-4 slide and then this is weird because you could just kind of work it around the C as the hammer on again and then 5-5-5-3-3-3-1-1-1-0 five, 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 three, three, one, 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 oh. and then the G for the open B and then 2-3-3-5-3-2 three, 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 and, and then kind of a D chord and then that 3 2 oh, 2 ways to kind of work that but that might be kind of cool to try and put the chords into the lick it's kind of kind of that idea and we'll basically be repeating that until we get to kind of these cool little little first chorus tags where, where we kind of vamp on the E minor chord so it's all around the E minor chord kind of a bridge or, or first tag however depending you know, on how you're thinking about it but you will hear these cool little licks there where you could play the open G second on the D open G and then second on the D twice and then we kind of repeat that three times Fourth fret on the G, and then fourth fret on the D twice. It's kind of that tag. B B F sharp. So G E G E E G E G E E G E G E E G E B B B F sharp. Which you could kind of work those notes around your E minor if you're doing the strumming. off the, the second finger of the E minor if you just want to work that around. Uh, it would actually be another way to play E minor 7 with just that first finger down. But that might make it a little easier to stretch a pinky or a third finger to the G string, D string for that fourth. So E minor.
part is to play along with the recording. Instead of starting on an E minor chord, they're starting with an F sharp minor chord. So to play along with the recording, what you want to do is take the capo, and if you put the capo on 2nd fret, and now your E minor is really an F sharp minor. And your C is really a D. And your G is really an A major. And your D is really an E major chord. But you could even start with just the solo lick, actually, kind of that note too. To our, our first verse, and you can really use any of those strummings we were talking about, kind of that down idea. times on that first down of the down down up up down up you throw in a bass note before the chord. So on the E minor you'd have low E for the bass, on the C you'd have an A for the bass, on the G you'd have low E for the bass, on the D you'd have a D for the bass. So we go that E minor, C with an A bass, G with a low E bass, D with a D bass. Or you may kind of dig on working the 16th pattern that way. Make it a bass, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, or a bass, bass, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, or a bass, bass, down, down, up, up, bass, down, up, down. Probably cool variations. E minor, C, G, D, E same progression six times and you can do that any of those ways actually you want to kind of try and mix between them it might be kind of cool to kind of to even switch between those ideas or if you know there are licks around these chords too you know kind of take this lesson and run with it any way you want to
intro verse idea. So we're back to kind of our main intro progression, kind of. Minor. That's the basics of how you can strum through. Call again. So, good luck. <laughs>